What is up everybody on my channel and today we're gonna be talking about what everybody hates in Pet Simulator X because there's a lot of things in the game that I hate so we're gonna be talking about all of those things in this video so let's get right into it well since the traveling merchant actually just arrived for me we can actually make that our first thing even though it's on our list anyway so this is the traveling merchant okay when it first arrived it was super cheap okay it was a little bit too cheap it kind of broke the economy like the fact that everything that it sold was like it sold rainbow mythics for like 15 million gems which is not the best deal you know 15 million gems for a rainbow mythic I mean I know it is the best deal I'm not talking about it. it's the best deal on earth it's literally like it's insane but it's not the best deal for people that are actually trying to sell their own rainbow mythics so it kind of broke the economy for a couple days and it still is really broken from that because so many people actually bought pets and did so many things during that time which i wish i actually did i should have taken advantage of it but i thought it was always gonna be a thing but sadly preston did fix it but i guess that's a good thing for the economy entirely but he did fix it and now the prices are even higher than you would ever imagine okay so first i was like okay i'm angry about the economy being broken but i kind of like it okay because so i can buy like really really cool pets for really cheap Cheap. but now to get a pegasus a rainbow pegasus it's 19 million the other day i joined the server and it was a, like a rainbow phantom wolf guess how much it was for it was for 364 million 364 million gems for a rainbow phantom wolf like dude who the heck is gonna pay that no one i'm not gonna pay that dude i barely have 130 million gems and they want me to double it just to buy a rainbow phantom wolf but i kind of like it a little bit more it makes a lot more sense to actually just buy pets from the actual community and people yeah it's a very interesting system i hope they make it in the middle okay because right now it's a little bit too high that anyone's actually going to use this at all like nobody's gonna, ever going to use this anymore if they make it a little bit lower like in the middle okay 15 million gems is definitely not enough for like a rainbow mythic but like 300 million gems is definitely too much you know so i think it should be selling in the middle like 50 million gems so lower the market a little bit but not keep it so high 50 million gems for like a rainbow mythic or something like that i think that definitely works it's a lot more than the original but it's a lot less than the current one because the current one is just way too expensive and it's really just not it's not worth it like why like who would spend that and i don't think anyone's actually gonna buy a rainbow mythic for 50 million gems anyways but i think it should just be a lot more affordable like for the actual people that are trying to get stuff out of the traveling merchant because right now it's too expensive for any player to actually find it worth it and it's just not it's just not worth it you know so the next thing we're talking about is actually the pet delete system and i actually came up with a really really cool idea to make it a lot easier and work way better so what pet delete right now is you have to individually click every single one you can't like hold down and select a lot of them which is my kind of idea so you have to like click every single pet on its own and it takes a really long time especially if you have a full inventory like i do like that's a very full inventory i actually don't want to delete these because they're these are pretty good pets i'm not even gonna lie but uh what i was thinking is a system where you hold down and then you slide to this side and every time you hold down and slide to the side it collects all of them and not only that if you slide down and then go this way while having slide down that way it's gonna like collect both it's gonna like make a thing where it's both it's kind of hard to explain but i do have a game that kind of portrays it perfectly let me show you guys all right so the way this game retail tycoon works is you can actually delete stuff and edit it a lot easier so right here if you want to delete some of this roof all you have to do is hold down and then it collects all of the roofs and if you move it over it actually goes through all of them and selects everything and it's so much easier and it would work so good with the pet ui in pet simulator x i'm just telling you guys if preston added this i would literally be the happiest guy on earth and it would make it so so much easier to delete pets because your inventory can get very very full and it's just a pain in the butt dude trying to like delete every single pet one by one and doing this it just works so much well like look look how clean this looks it's, it's super hot dude and I feel like it's gonna not, not be too hard for the actual game devs to be able to make, so hopefully they can add that in. If they could, that would be amazing. The next thing that I don't really like, or kind of hate in the game right now, is the current fusing combos, okay? So the, uh, for basically the entire game, the fusing has been pretty simple and straightforward. Like, fusing for every other egg, like for the past, like, a couple of, like, ever since the beginning, okay? It was super simple, okay? You can just use, like, an epic pet, eight, eight of those, and you'd most likely get, a, like, a legendary or something like that. And it's pretty straightforward, simple, and that's how you go. But now with this new update, for some reason, like, it's a lot different, and the whole fusing combos and everything is so much different, it's like, it gives you, a, a, like, a mind, a mind fart or something, okay? It's, it's weird. The current fusing combo is to get a rainbow legendary, the only one that actually works is to use 12 rainbow, uh, like, at any of the epics, so say, okay, so 12 rainbow epics, which is, like, so much different compared to any other fusing combo, and that is the only one we have. We don't have any other ones, we don't have, like four of the golden to get a single legendary golden legendary we don't have 12 of the golden to get a legendary because if you do 12 of the golden you'll just get one of the epics that's the that's the issue is because the, the numbers are getting so high it's kind of like breaking the system there are no like really big fusing combos besides fusing for the best pet you can't fuse for anything else besides the best pet and also an issue is you can't fuse any of the older eggs okay so i tried fusing when i did the index i was trying to fuse for like legendaries because it's so hard to hatch them but you can't you, can, you can't fuse for legendaries and older eggs because what it does is it combines the fusing thing and it goes for like the newest pet and the best pet that you probably want so if you're fusing like an old pet like let's say you're fusing a whole bunch of like 
rainbow like doggies and stuff and you're like all right i'm trying to get a dalmatian okay if you fuse that most likely the next pet you're gonna get is something really bad but from like the fantasy world like if, if you here let me give you an example if i'm fusing a pet from like this egg right over here probably like 50 30 like 100 maybe a thousand stats if i fuse these most likely i'll probably get one of like the axolotls or something from the main world or maybe like a slime or something like that from like the main fantasy area because it, it, that's just the way that it works like if i fuse a whole bunch of these uh, uh, like cyclops and froggies i would expect maybe i can get an epic from the same egg but no it's just gonna give me something like a three-headed dragon or something like that you know because based off actual stats it's based off the of overall strength and not the actual egg or pet you're looking for you know which kind of makes it sucky especially if you're trying to fuse pets from older eggs but you just literally can't because it only gives you newer pets all right this is the last thing that i hate about the game it's not even something specifically about the game it's more about the community but there's so many people that's coming up with like fake methods on getting the podcast and make clickbait videos i actually didn't make clickbait video i got an actual riddle for from a tester a, an official tester and hint for the game and i made it in my first season video you guys haven't already seen it yet. so you guys should definitely go watch it link in the description probably like right here or something but there's a lot of people that make clickbait videos and clickbait things about like the podcast and like how to get it and i'm like Dude, I just wanna I just wanna get this podcast. I'm tired of being clickbaited. I'm just like, man, just give me the method. And if you don't have the method, don't make a video on it. You know what I mean? But like, pretty much. <laughs> Please give me podcast. Alright, that's pretty much all of my things I hate about the game, and pretty much everybody does. And these are probably just kind of mild issues that I have with it. The game is still really, really fun. I pretty much love everything about it. It's so addicting and it it kinda kind of everything be a lot harder is what I like about the game. Cause if it wasn't as hard, I probably wouldn't grind it as much. I, there's just like a hard learning curve to get better and i think that's what makes it so fun if you guys want me to make a part two about all the things i had about the game then let's get this video to hmm let's get the video to 2,000 likes and i'll do a part two i know it's a big goal but if we got it that would mean a lot to me and yeah like subscribe comment down below and peace feels so nice actually well it actually feels like <laughs> i'm gonna go back to sleep